hi guys and welcome to our youtube channel it support and today we are going to monitor user activity in linux so there are some commands that are used to monitor the user activity in your system so first command is user so it is it will print the user name of users currently logged in to the system so let me show you the command so if you type the command users so it will show you there are currently four instance of admin user is logged into the current system okay so the second command is w so uh, it will show who is logged on and what they are doing so if you type the command w so it will show you uh, the user who is logged in and what they are doing so uh, this is the command line that the user is doing it is the username and this is the terminal name through which the user is logged in and from where the user is logged in this is login time and this is ideal time this is the time that is used by all the process to the current terminal so this time is for this terminal and this time this time is for this command line for the current process so uh, here you can see uh, admin is connected through terminal pts3 and it is connected from this IP address this host at the time 1113 so the ideal time is it is ideal since 12 uh, 12 second 12 minutes and this is the uh, this is the time in second uh, this is total time for this terminal for all the process and this is the uh, time for uh, the current bash uh, command line so uh, for this current user if you type tty you will see uh, this current terminal is pts4 so admin is logged in through pts4 here you can also see i open uh, another uh, uh, instance of a terminal and here i am running the man page for who uh, man page for w command okay if i quit this and type tty so it will show me that uh, i am in terminal pts0 and this is pts0 okay uh, if i'm going to uh, explore some options with the w command if i type hyphen h so it will ignore the headings this header it will ignore this command will ignore the header and uh, if i type the command w with option u it will show me the current command line with the with the current terminal with the same user if i type simple w so it will not show me uh, the current command but if I use hyphen u option so it will show me the current command line which is already running which I run okay so uh, the third option is hyphen i there are so many options but I am going to use and show you the some important option that are useful the third option is hyphen i if you type this command then what it will do it will show you the ip address instead of host name suppose you are connected in your <coughs> local system that is uh, having a dns system and which is resolving the host name and here you are see you are watching the host name but uh, if you don't want the host name and you want the IP address should be display in this section so you can use the command hyphen I show so right now I'm not in uh, connected with the DNS server but if uh, I will be there then uh, uh, host name will be uh, printed over here so if I use the command hyphen I then IP address will be displayed now the third command is uh, who so who show who is logged on from which host okay so it will show me if I type the command who 
then it will show me who is logged on from which terminal and it will also show you the date and the time and from where uh, the user is logged on to the current system okay so who is also one of the uh, best command to check what users are uh, logged in into the system so here uh, if I so there are so many options that are working with the who command so I option hyphen B is uh, time of uh, last system boot so this is also important if you go and type command hyphen B it will show you the system boots uh, at uh, on 28th of this month at 10 13 okay so here you can track at what time your system at in what date and what time your system got booted also the second option is hyphen D print dead process dead processes if you type who hyphen D so these are the dead process its time and uh, ID and all the the third one is print line for column headings type the command who and uh, hyphen capital H this is the column heading it will display to you the column heading what line and time here it was it, it was not showing but here it is showing the header hyphen L print the system login process this is the login process through TTY2 at the time and ID okay so this is the login process it will show with the command who and the uh, hyphen M only host name and user associated with it hyphen M so admin is associated with current terminal and it will show you the time hyphen p print active process swap by init so init is was using before rel 7 but uh, here let me check if it is running so here it is not showing but uh, if you run this command in the version below rel 7 you will get the information about the process swap by uh, init process so hyphen Q all login name and number of user logged on so there are total four user logged on and their name so this is a short information that you can get with this command let me log in one more user in terminal uh, uh, tty2 so to log in in that terminal you need to press control alt then function key and f2 so you will get the uh, shell for another terminal and if you type the uh, username Skynet is the my is my user. I'm, I'm going to log in with that user, and here if uh, here you can see, I got login with PTS one terminal TTY. So I'm in TTY two terminal. If you want to go back to the TTY one, so you need to press Control Alt function F one. So here you are again to the same. Or terminal and uh, if I type the same command who hyphen Q so here you can see there are total five user is logged in and their name so here you can see sky and it is present <coughs> now the option hyphen R print current run level so if you want to see what is the current run level so this is also one of the best command to check run level so here you can see run level 5 currently I'm in run level 5 
so if I am going to TTY uh, 2 and uh, there if I check the same command so let's go there control all function in F2 type the command uh, who hyphen R so here you it will show you uh, right now the system is in run level 5 so here you will also get the same information because currently system is in run level 5 so let's come back to our TTY1 and uh, the option hyphen s print only name line and time so let's check hyphen s okay so here it is showing name this is the line let's use one more option that is L uh, print that uh, where is the header information column heading okay if I use the option hyphen H so here it will show name line time and comment fine so uh, the option hyphen T print last system clock change if I check the ch change the clock so it will show you the system clock you have changed and their time so here I have not changed any clock related activity so it is not showing me any output and uh, if I you type the command who hyphen a it will show all the information and that is equivalent to hyphen B hyphen D this login hyphen P R T U uh, capital T and small u so it is the same as these all command so we learn these uh, these three command and you can also have uh, more uh, command with uh, with the package PSACCT so if you install this package with the uh, RPM based uh, distribution and ACCT in uh, Debian, ba Debian based distribution so you will get more tool to monitor the user activity so let's start to install this package and then we are going to uh, perform command uh, with this package yum install PSACCT so package got installed and in, uh, system CTL let's start and enable it start PSACCT then enable it also got enabled you can also check whether it is enabled or not is enabled PSACCT so it will show you that uh, this uh, process or the service is, is got enabled so through this service you can uh, uh, it will uh, you need to turn on turn on the process accounting so you, uh, to turn on this process accounting you need to run the command ACCT on and on if you type this command then uh, turning on process accounting file set to the default var account and PACCT so this is the default file where process accounting will start by the kernel so the kernel write the record to the accounting file as each process on the system terminates file set to var account PACCT so let's check this file but you will not able to see the content inside the PACCT file but to read the content from this file you have various command and and 
and these command are only reading the information from this file so we will get the command ac last sa and last com so these all command will read the information from uh, this file and show you the proper output and this file is get recorded by the kernel you can also uh, make it off by running the command ACCT on ACCT on if you type command off so turning off the process accounting let's make it again on okay so the first command related with uh, PSPS ACCT uh, service so it is AC AC displays the record of connect time in R so it will show you the uh, total connect time for the users in hours so if I type command AC it will show me the total login time for all the users and if I do AC and uh, for particular user so it will show me the to total login time for admin user AC for uh, Baymax user sorry Skynet user so it is showing me uh, the value in second So this is the total time uh, used by the uh, particular user and this value is in second and this is in hours right so uh, if I type the command hy ac hyphen d so it will show me the login information according to day wise so this is the date August 10th of August total login time for all the user is 40 hours this is this is today's date 25th September and total login hours is 24 hours sorry uh, yesterday days and today total login time is 3 hours so near about four hours and if I if I wants to check uh, day by day uh, day wise login for admin user so it will also show you the information for particular user day wise so on September 25th admin user work for 24 hours and uh, on 18 September admin user work for five, 5 hours and uh, you can also check for another user day wise so totally Skynet working on today only and it is from last 16 minutes so before uh, today this user has not having any login information if I check for Oracle user so here it is showing total uh, on 3 of August it was for 44 hours and uh, not uh, rather than today uh, or rather than th 3rd of August after that it was not logged in and nothing has did any activity with the same system okay if I type command AC hyphen A so it will show me the all login time that is equivalent to AC command AC hyphen P will show me how long each user was connected display how long each user was connected so it will show me the total information user wise show me the login information user wise so here it will show that there are total number of users these are the users 
and their login time so admin has login time this and because user and skynet user oracle user root user so these are the users total login time and uh, if you want to see uh, login time for uh, each user day wise so on 25th september this two user has logged in admin and skynet unknown is for root user and uh, there are some it not be uh, not sure about the root user but uh, it can be a uh, system users like uh, there are so many system users available into the system that are doing the activity to uh, to perform the job so these are not countable and it is showing unknown and their total login time so here you can also see the user login information according to date and uh, separate uh, user wise so on 18 september one only one user has logged in and uh, it uh, was worked for 24 hours on 14 september only admin on 13 september only ad admin okay so uh, here you can see uh, all user login information according to the date you can also see the user information according to user that is uh, if I type admin and uh, skynet so you can also do the same uh, you can also check for two user only fine so this is all about the AC so AC command will show you the login total logged in time for a particular user day wise and uh, total login time the second command is last command it will show listing of last logged in user read from the log var log WTMP if uh, after installing the package PAC, P, uh, PSACCT one more file is created var log WTMP this is this is also binary file so you can't read the information from this file and it is uh, reading by the command last so <coughs> and it is also write by the by the kernel and so you will also not read the content from this file and uh, this is also get created by the package psacct so the last command will show listing of last logged in user read from this file and it will show you the information like username and its terminal from where it is logged in on which date and time and till it is logged in or logged out so let me clear this in and type the command last so if I if I select uh, this line go into the upper section of the output so if I check uh, with this line so admin user is logged in through this terminal PTS3 and from this system uh, Thursday and the date is 28 September and the time and still it is logged in so this is how you can check which user is logged into the system and uh, where uh, so this is also one of the best and useful command to check user is logged in or logged down who are logged in right now and at what time it was logged and e it will also show you the reboot information last time my system was reboot on 28 September the same day at 10 13 okay and it will also show you on Monday uh, the system was rebooted at the same uh, at the time 10:54. Then on 
24 uh, 14 September it was rebooted at uh, 10:47 so here you will get the reboot information so this is also useful to check reboot information for the uh, system so if i type the command last with username so last logged in and logged out detail for admin user so it will show me so it will show me the information related to particular user only then option last hyphen r it will suppress the display of the host name field so this is the host name field so this uh, colon 0 is indicating this is the local host same same host so if you want to suppress this information you can type the command last hyphen a so it will suppress that uh, sorry so it will suppress that information also hyphen d translate the ip number back to its host name so if you want to see the host name instead of ip address so you can type the command last hyphen d so it will show you so here you can see it will show you the uh, ip address instead of host name okay so root was logged in with this host on uh, 26th april at this time so this is also useful and uh, hyphen x option display the system shutdown entries and run level changes so if you want to check shutdown information so you can have the option hyphen x and it will show you only the the shutdown information and run level information from the output then uh, also one more uh, useful command sa sa summarize the information about previously executed command as recorded in the acct file so again sa command will read the information from uh, pacct and uh, it will record the information of last run command these are the command that is last run by the system or the user so it will show you all information related to the command so uh, here you can see clear command was run two time and this is elapsed time this is the total cpu time taken uh, by to run run this command total cpu time is taken and this is the uh, input output average input output time and this is the uh, space of the cpu core used in kb for uh, to run this command fine here it is already shown the cpu time and this information average number of input output command so if i type the command if i say hyphen a not to short command those are printing the other so so here you can see the one information asterisk other what does it mean it means that there are some command uh, which uh, uh, whose value is not printed here so if you want to see that thing so you can do as a hyphen a so here it will show me previously it was not displaying but right now it is display with the command as a hyphen a uh, SA hyphen M print uh, per user basis. If you want to see information per user basis, so you can also use the command hyphen A. So it will show you total root is running 413. 413 is run by uh, 477 process is run by root user. Post is running 413. Po this all information is running by the user sa hyphen u uh, for all command print username so these are the username so it will show you the information according to username what are the command is run by the user right so this is also one of the uh, useful and uh, important command in linux uh, the last command is last com 
last com command is also same as uh, sa command it will show you what the command is run and uh, by uh, run by which user run from where which terminal and uh, uh, total second how much time it will take and it will show you the time so it is more customized than uh, sa command so you can also use last com command to uh, see uh, the command run by the users and system so this is how uh, uh, this is how uh, we can monitor the users activity um, in Linux system so thank you for watching this video and you can subscribe my channel thank you bye bye